Hey everyone, I am Sanket Singh. I am working as a software engineer at Google and welcome back to my channel. So guys, this is going to be a very special video. So recently I got selected in PyCon Italy as well as in EuroPython which is going to be conducted in Dublin, Ireland. So in this video, I am going to share my experience that how I applied to all of these conferences and how I got selected in these. How you guys can apply in these conferences. Are these only conferences only related to Python? What was my experience as a software engineer? Uh, have I ever worked with Python when I started learning with Python? A lot of things I am going to share about this and I definitely believe this video is going to be very helpful for all those people who want to understand that apart from just coding your software, what the software engineers do. So this is one of the most important thing that we guys do. So if you are interested in the topic, I would highly recommend you guys to watch the video till the very end. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing to the channel because we are going to put some more awesome content on the channel. So without any further delay, let's just start. So. Guys, just to set the context, uh, so a lot of times uh, you might have encountered a lot of different technologies. Maybe you are working with JavaScript, maybe with Python, .NET, etc. So all of these, uh, maybe if they are closed source softwares or open source softwares, in both of the cases, there is a big community of uh, these technologies that uh, contribute to these technologies, who work with the technology, they use the, these technologies in their daily life, right? And these communities uh, set up a lot of meetups as well as conferences. What is the agenda of these meetups and conferences? To understand what are the new things that are getting developed in the technology uh, and also to spread awareness around what are the benefits, what are the different use cases, what are the different applications of these technologies. And again, having a community meetup also gives you a lot of presence in the community. People know, uh, know you, they know that, uh, okay, th these are the people who are contributing to the software or they are using the software in their day-to-day -day work and so on. And so so for networking purpose, for uh, I would say learning purpose, these meetups and conferences are arranged, right? So whatsoever technology you are working with, C++, Java, Python, JavaScript, anything, a lot of conferences are there that you can apply to. And you can even apply as an attendee where you will be learning from the speakers who have came there and are giving the talk. Or if you feel that you are very much confident in the uh, tech stack or the framework on which the whole uh, conference is, then you can definitely apply to be a speaker or you can apply to uh, conduct a workshop there. Right. So there are different kind of talks. Some talks are of like 30 odd minutes. Some talks are like of one hour or two hour workshop kind of a thing. So depending on your expertise and your interest in the corresponding tech, you can apply to these conferences. So I got selected for PyCon. Uh, PyCon is a Python conference. This is uh, conducted all over the globe multiple times in different cities. Right. So I got selected for PyCon Italy as well as PyCon Dublin. You can say it is Euro Python. Right. Uh, the topic of my talk is uh, when gRPC met Python. Right. So you might be thinking what is gRPC here if it is a Python talk. I'll talk about it. But yeah, this is like, uh, to be very honest, a very big achievement for me because this is uh, the PyCon Italy talk is going to be my first uh, conference as a speaker. So it's a definitely a very different feeling. Uh, I will be sharing my experience and what I know around gRPC and Python to a uh, lot of people. And obviously they will be asking a lot of questions. So I have to be prepared for that. But uh, to be very honest, it's a very, very special feeling to get honored uh, by the community and obviously the community gave me this chance uh, to represent uh, a lot of people there. So now we are going to talk about uh, how exactly I started learning with Python or maybe my experience with Python as a software engineer and then I'll talk about uh, how you guys can also apply to all of these conferences. So talking about my experience with Python, I would say uh, the first language that I started uh, learning when I was in class 12 was Python. Uh, to be very honest, I was not the best Python programmer of my school because obviously I was in uh, non-medical, a lot of IITJ kind of a pressure was there. Uh, but yes, I was having good amount of interest in Python. In class 12th, I struggled a bit when the concepts of groups and all came into the picture. I was not able to exactly understand why people make these classes and objects. Why not just print the pattern and move ahead? Uh, so at that time, uh, I was struggling a bit. But later, uh, when I came into college, I studied a bit of more Python because I had some experience with data structures and algorithm in my first year and second year. So I had some good coding experience with other languages. I started exploring things around Python. And I also got an internship at ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. There also I worked with a backend in Python. It gave me a good amount of exposure with Python. I, I wrote not only basic Python, but a, a bit of intermediate Python as well. And obviously, uh, I also tried to explore things around machine learning in Python. I used uh, and made made few projects around that. Uh, so just for learning purpose, to be very honest, I never pursued a lot of things in machine learning. But yes, I definitely spent some time there. So I had like quite some, some amount of experience with Python. And... Uh, 
but during my interviews also sometimes i was asked questions around python it was a python back in specific role as well right so this was like my experience with python but nowadays python is one of the most uh, top most ranked language a lot of people are uh, learning python with python you can not only just build back end servers or automation tasks but you can even build small mobile applications as well you can do machine learning stuff and a lot of things are possible in python so uh, i would say that python is definitely one of the most hottest language to learn in 2022 so if you are already learning python then you are already on a right track but otherwise you should definitely spend some time in exploring python and see if it interests you or not now we are going to see that how i exactly apply to the pycon conference and what you guys can do in order to apply to similar conferences so how exactly i came to know about the conference and how exactly i applied to the conference so a lot of friends of mine already used to go to the conferences sometimes as an attendee sometimes as a speaker so i used to get motivated with the fact that they are speaking at such a big stage because pycon is a world famous conference of python and just like python uh, other languages like javascript also has got various big conferences like js who nordic js etc and there are other conferences as well open source conference and apart from that there is ndc uh, conferences right so there are like a bunch of conferences that are there and uh, a lot of friends of mine used to go there uh, so what i did was i explored a bit on google that what are all the conferences that uh, like accept application or or are still accepting application as a speaker so you know, on any uh, I would say conference website you will find an option for call for speakers you can just go there you can just read the topics and if any topic is there that you are really interested in and you know a lot of things around that you can definitely apply so uh, I applied for GRPC with python uh, what GRPC is if you know rest GRPC is a lot similar to rest it's like a kind of recommendation and conventions that are provided instead of uh, sending messages with json you send messages with protobuf it's not uh, i would say resource oriented it's action oriented you can read about grpc it's a very uh, i would say crazy technology and we do a lot of work a lot on grpc here at google so i had some experience with grpc as well as uh, some experience with google uh, sorry some experience with python so i thought that why not uh, uh, i will give a talk on how you can integrate grpc in python how you can set up a basic Take GRPC server in Python. So I know this is like a very simple thing. If you know GRPC, then you might be able to understand. It's a very simple thing. But this, as a technology, not a lot of people know. So I just uh, went to a lot of uh, websites of Python conferences, and I saw that all those uh, conferences are still accepting call for speakers. So all you have to do is just write a small abstract around 300 to 500 words on what you are going to explain in your talk. It's a 30 to 45 minute talk, or it's a workshop. What is it? What should be the expectation of the audience if they are attending the talk? Right. What should be the outcomes what are the prerequisite why is it relevant in 2022 a lot of things are there that you have to answer around in 300 to 500 words maximum two to three questions only and you have to just submit your abstract with your profile so a lot of time uh, they do reply very quickly uh, sometimes they do uh, do take time so at, at pycon it was a very different kind of an experience there was a community voting what is community voting uh, everybody who has earlier attended pycon or maybe this year are going to attend pycon or maybe were speakers at earlier pycons all of them are the part of the pycon community. Community. what they uh, request the whole community is to vote on the applications of the speakers that what are the talks the community wants to listen to and after the community voting there is a panel judge who judges the top most uh, voted talks and then filter out the final talks so i was fortunate enough to got my talk listed and uh, the community also definitely voted uh, a lot on this talk and i was able to get it in the final jury round as well that was how i applied to the pycon italy as well as euro pycon now i'm going to share you a few of the tips that you guys can also i would say uh, do if you want to also attend all of these conferences even as a speaker or maybe as a attendee so the best part about uh, these conferences is you are able to not only uh, i would say meet the community of your country but you are able to go to some other country like i will be going to italy or if there will be time i'll definitely try to attend the dublin uh, conference as well so you are able to go to other country sometimes the expenses also reimbursed it's not mandatory but a lot of time the expenses are also reimbursed for the speakers so you are able to interact with the community so you might be feeling that what is the benefit of it a lot of companies and startups who sponsor these uh, conferences the people from these companies and startup also come and they also try to recruit a lot of people uh, directly from there so if you are someone who wants to work uh, with some of these startups or companies conferences are going to be
be really very helpful for uh, i would say interacting with those people in making some networks with those people right and uh, i have seen a lot of friends of mine who directly got a job or internship offer from these conferences sometimes from india sometimes from outside of india as well so what you guys can do in order to apply to these conferences so if you are still in college and if you are not that confident with the technology that you are working with i would highly recommend you guys to apply as an attendee so there are uh, i would say scholarships for attendees if you are not a working professional i don't recommend you to pay the money for the conference and then go because for students there are scholarships if you are able to get selected to the scholarship then only you should try to attend it so you can uh, look for scholarship opportunities or in all of these conferences you have to again fill up few forms and you have to just answer a few questions that why you should get a scholarship for that and then they release the scholarship results if you are uh, like well off enough and you are able to afford the conferences then if in your own country the conference is getting conducted you should definitely go and interact with the people because that is going to be a really amazing experience but if you feel you are someone who is like having good amount of confidence with the topic and have some experience with the technology that you are going to speak about then it uh, makes a lot of sense to apply as a speaker all you have to do you can just uh, add yourself in few of the newsletters and mail threads where they give uh, i would say notification about whenever the new conferences are going to get out and uh, you can just look for all for paper opportunities on google and you will get a bunch of conferences that are getting conducted all over the globe not just your country but all over the globe different continents different countries and you can definitely try to apply there just make sure whatever you are writing is making sense you don't need to have a like out of the box idea for the topic very simple things like exception handling creating a server or linting in that particular language even simple topics like these also get selected one more thing you can do is you can look for previous year conference speakers what what were the talks that were selected in previous 2 3 years you will be able to understand the difficulty of the topic that people are uh, speaking on generally there are a lot of easy to medium uh, level topics as well and a few harder topics that a lot of people speak about if you are someone who is very much into uh, open source contributions open source community devops anything that you are doing in tech there should be some conferences that you can definitely apply to. and that is how i also got uh, an opportunity to go to italy and i will be speaking to python italy so uh, that was uh, it for uh, this video guys this was my experience how i exactly got selected i will be sharing few references of few of the conferences that uh, will maybe uh, get open for next year and you can also apply for that uh, make sure you uh, do keep an eye on all the few mailing threads and newsletter for these conferences if you are also like someone who wants to also travel along with all of your tech stuff right so we as a software engineers not only code on softwares we also get opportunities to travel the whole world uh, meet a lot of people do the meetups give contribution to the community and have a lot of fun so if that suffices this video if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video whenever we put a new video on the channel that being said let's just wrap this video here we are going to meet soon in the next video till then take care guys bye bye and love you all